Hi everyone, the new jargon which is making a noise of late is the net zero. And to achieve net zero emissions. Net zero. Net zero. To net zero. Now, German goals to cut greenhouse emissions by 65% by 2030. Climate change is being labeled as the next disaster in this planet. But here is the real talk. It's not just a jargon. It's a wake-up call. We are not dealing with just another trend. We are starting with next biggest challenge on this planet. The critical priority for each one of us right now, we need to secure the sustainable future. It's not just a suggestion. It's a command. Right now, we're facing a man-made disaster of global scale. Our greatest threat in thousands of years climate change. If we don't take action, the collapse of our civilizations and the extinction of much of the natural world is on the horizon. The world's people have spoken. Their message is clear. Time is running out. So what is net zero? Net zero refers to the balance between the amount of greenhouse gas emissions produced and the amount removed from the atmosphere. Why net zero? Carbon dioxide, CO2, makes up 80% of the greenhouse gases that act as a barrier in our atmosphere, trapping heat, causing the temperature in our atmosphere to rise. And when that happens, system collapse. Net Zero recognizes we need to reduce our emissions to a point where we are no longer increasing in the concentration of the greenhouse gases. It is essentially a state where total emissions are equal to the total removal of greenhouse gases. To reach this ambitious goal, companies have to change, policy has to change, consumers have to change. क्लाइमेट चेंज पर इस वैश्विक मंथन के बीच मैं भारत की ओर से इस चुनौती से निपटने के लिए पांच अमृत तत्व रखना चाहता हूं पंचामृत की सौगात देना चाहता हूं पहला भारत 2030 तक अपनी नॉन फोसिल एनर्जी कैपेसिटी को 500 गीगावाट तक पहुंचाएगा दूसरा भारत 2030 तक अपनी 50% एनर्जी रिक्वायरमेंट्स रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी से पूरी करेगा तीसरा भारत अब से लेकर 2030 तक के कुल प्रोजेक्टेड कार्बन एमिशन में 1 बिलियन टन की कमी करेगा चौथा 2030 तक भारत अपनी अर्थव्यवस्था की कार्बन intensity ko 45% se bhi kam karega aur paanchwa vars 2070 tak bharat net zero ka laks hasil karega now that the united states is back in the paris agreement we intend to demonstrate our leadership in order to spur other countries to raise their own ambitions canada and the united states are going to work in lockstep to display the seriousness of our commitment at both home and abroad. To that end, we're launching a high-level climate ambition, uh, ambition ministerial and to align our policies and our goals and to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. Prime Minister Suga Yoshihide pledged to cut Japan's greenhouse gases to net zero in 30 years. In his first policy speech in Parliament, he said the country aims to become a carbon-neutral society by 2050. Suga said the central government will work with regional areas to tackle climate change. Germany, which is Europe's largest economy, it aims to cut its carbon dioxide emissions by 65% by 2030 compared to 1990. Most of the countries join the hands in the Paris Agreement and working towards to achieve the net zero by 2050. Aviation industry is one of the major carbon culprit. Airlines are finally walking up to the reality. 
gearing up for net zero targets it's about time they clear the air the sky is not the limit it's the starting point for cleaner aviation net zero here we come the most exciting development is a zero emissions plane that will require new electric or hydrogen propulsion designs these are already on the drawing board construction industries and other culprit carbon emission industry nearly 40% of all co2 emissions come from construction activities but only 3% of the total investment in building and designing a new project is efficient and eco-friendly well there is a way in which architects and engineers can help minimize and maybe reverse the process with sustainable building design specifically net zero buildings the net zero buildings are energy efficient buildings that generates as much energy as they consume in other words they produce zero net carbon emission pretty cool right so how do net zero buildings achieve this by using renewable energy sources like solar panels wind turbines and by reducing energy consumption through things like efficient insulation and lighting the great things about net zero buildings is that they benefit not only the environment but also the people who live and work in them a study by the rocky mountain institute found that net zero buildings can reduce energy costs save owners up to 80% on energy costs over the lifetime of the building and also provide a healthier indoor environment the unisphere building in Maryland is example of net zero building it's also among the biggest net zero projects in the world the building has its own on site solar energy geothermal heat pumps and an all in one system for lighting hvac and energy another example of an energy positive building is the powerhouse brittega an eight story office space in norway which uses less energy than it produces during the end of its entire life cycle the structure contains natural refrigerant heat pumps at its water supply and 3000 meter square solar panels for cooling and heating the structure uses both passive and active energy saving techniques including hvac and lighting systems companies have been making a lot of promises lately we're going to reduce our carbon footprint to net zero commercial and industrial sectors tackling scope 1 for direct emissions scope 2 for electricity heat and steam emissions and scope 3 for indirect emissions we got to explore the various strategies including advancements in renewable energy sustainable transportation reforestation and innovative technologies like carbon capture and storage every country and companies needs to act on this net zero targets it's unfortunate few countries treating this climate policy is like a game of art potato will never force any household to do it tossing them without a care and conveniently passing the bug to the less fortunate countries all while making a false promise of funding that's not how it works we can't have a few big players throw out big climate policies expecting someone else to clean up the mess climate action is not a hand me down it's a global responsibility the entire world needs to step up no exceptions net zero is not a luxury it's a necessity and we need to get there fast hello me to highlight a remarkable achievement of newtek solar bangalore based company newtek solar has a strong focus on offering environment friendly products contributing to a greener and cleaner future their dedication to sustainability has earned them recognition from prestigious bodies such as united nations framework conventions on climate change and the gold standard foundation vision They hold the distinction of being the solar thermal manufacturer in India, acknowledged for customer-oriented practices aligned with the green and clean principles. Newtek Solar is known for its unwavering integrity and commitment to values with a rich legacy spanning 30 years. Newtek Solar stands as one of the most trusted solar brand in India. specializing in the manufacturing and integration of solar pv system utex solar is also a pioneer in the production of solar thermal water heaters their expertise encompasses both flat and tube technology with a notable tube manufacturing capacity in india a testament to their commitment utex solar has successfully monetized carbon credits for their solar thermal water heaters benefiting millions of customers for those interested in embracing solar solutions and sustainable living 
Nutex Solar can be reached out 92431 If you like this video, please circulate to more and more people and create awareness on this climate change.